Welcome to Celebrating Act 2. Celebrating Act 2 is the user manual for the second half of your life. Manny Pacheco here for Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act 2. We're here at Cinecon, and we have Mike Schlesinger, who is on the board with Cinecon, and he's going to give us all the inner secrets of what goes on at uh, given Cinecons, and he's the one to know because he's been involved for many, many years. Welcome. Thank you, sir. Tell us about Cinecon. Well, uh, Cinecon is, this is our 58th year, and we're the world's oldest classic film festival. Started in 1965, only showing silence for the first few years, and then gradually talkies crept in, and now they're more like two-thirds of the schedule because you know, the survival rate for silent films is pretty low, and most of the great ones have been seen. And, you know, Cinecon, we always positioned ourselves as the place to see films you couldn't see anywhere else. Now, obviously, that has changed over time, what with home video and cable TV and streaming. So there's a lot more opportunity to see things. So it gets a little harder to find new stuff, new in the sense that hasn't been seen and is not available elsewhere. But, tell, we, but we manage. Tell me about your involvement. Now, you, you, you used to be uh, one who went to the Cinecon Festival, but now you're part of it. Right. Um, I started going... Uh, 76, I think, was my first year. And uh, in 79, um, I was asked to uh, do the newsletter. This was what this is how we communicated back in the old days of snail mail. So, And that automatically made me a board member, and I just hung around. <laughs> well, how were you involved in this year's Cinecon? What, what, what are some of the things that you might uh, be asked to do? Well, my primary job is scheduling, which is not the same thing as programming. Programming is actually picking the films and, and the guests. Scheduling is how it all fits together like a jigsaw puzzle, which can be very difficult sometimes because you're dealing with a lot of variables, especially in terms of running times. So, uh, and because I'm a little bit OCD, you know, it, it's, it's, and in a way, it's almost kind of fun for me to try and take all these titles and juggle them and make them work. So, and, you know, I, a couple of things I picked were on the schedule as well. Uh, so, I mean, I help out in any way I can, clearly, but, uh, but that's the main thing I do. Uh, Cinecon caters to individuals who are real cinephiles. Right. Um, they, they know when you make a mistake, if you're saying uh, some, some piece of factor or, or if it's factually incorrect. Yeah. Uh, 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 is it problematic to deal with such, so people that are so, so into it? Well, you know, you have to, you know, what's important and what isn't, you know. All right, so maybe there's a typo or a misspelling or maybe we get the year wrong or something like that. You know, uh, no system is perfect, especially when you're dealing uh, with, you know, the quasi unknown, let's say. For example, uh, last night we ran the restored version of a previously lost Tom Mix silent uh, called Outlaws of Red River, which uh, the original running time was 59 minutes, and this print was reconstructed uh, from a variety of sources, and it came in about five minutes short because the, the, whatever footage was there is now lost for good, apparently. So, yeah, there might be somebody who would scream at us because it was 54 minutes instead of 59 minutes, and, you know, our attitude is it's this or not. Nothing. Now, let me ask you about, I, I, now that I got you, you're part of Cinecon, you get Mitzi Gaynor, uh, Jimmy Hunt, uh, Patty McCormick, yeah. George Kiris, Ruta Lee, uh, Michael Feinstein. I mean, these are, these are important folks that are still yeah. relevant in cinema, and you get them all in the course of one festival. That's right. pretty impressive. Yeah. Of course, in, in the old days, you know, we had people from the silent era and early talkies. We would have people like um, Douglas Fairbanks Jr. and uh, Ruby Keeler and uh, Gloria Stewart way before Titanic, uh, people like that. But, you know, they're all mostly dead. I mean, you've got people from the 70s and 80s who are dying. So it's so it becomes tougher to find celebrities who still have some relevance, you know, and are willing to come. Well, I remember one year you had Shirley Jones and I was pretty impressed with that. Yeah. <laughs> so so with her husband, but you know. <laughs> um your partnership with Hollywood Heritage. Can you talk a little bit about that? Um don't really know that much about it. That's that stands back. Stan, so. We need to find Stan Taffel, that's for sure. But in the meantime, we were lucky to get Mike Schlesinger. I'm Manny Pacheco for Forgotten Hollywood and Celebrating Act Two here at the Hollywood Heritage at Cinecon. For more on Celebrating Act Two, visit our webpage, follow us on Facebook, subscribe to us on YouTube, and tell your friends. Celebrating Act Two is the user manual for the second half of your life.